Good morning, everyone, or good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're listening to this or watching this. So I wanted to take a minute to show you our Blackboard course, because uh, this is what it looks like, this screen here. Uh, you can see we've got some stuff on the left-hand side, right? This is like the menu bar, I guess. That's what I'm going to call it throughout term. I'm not sure what it's technically called, but we've got our homepage. Um, I don't really do much on the homepage, but it, I know it does show you some assignments that are upcoming and things like that. Announcements are a big thing. Make sure you check these. Anytime I send out an announcement, I'll always make sure to also send it to you in an email. So you shouldn't have to, you know, come to this page solely to see announcements from me. You can check your email. You can come here. It's up to you. Now this start here page contains things like the syllabus, which is super, super important. Uh, there's another video about the syllabus that you'll be able to see later on today. Um, so check that out. Uh, this welcome quiz, super, super, super important. If you don't take this welcome quiz by Saturday, January 16th by 11.59 PM, you will be dropped from the course because you'll be considered a no-show. So don't do that, right? Make sure that you take that quiz. Don't forget. All right, then we have our textbook, Sources, Citing, and Formatting. It's set up so that once you click it, it opens in a new page. Boom, there you go. Uh, you can also find the textbook down here, and there will be in this course resources section, you'll also see uh, essay one videos, essay two videos, and essay three videos to make it a little bit easier to find them all in one place. I'm currently revamping the videos, so it's going to take some time for me to get them up there, but you should see essay one videos by the end of this week. All right. Uh, so we've got that. This lessons folder, this is going to be your bread and butter right here, right? You can see we've got three different uh, units that we're working through through this course. And then we have sample essays down here. Okay, I'm fine tuning those right at this moment. So those sample essays, that folder is blank. Uh, but within the next day or so, you'll see sample essays down here. All right, now in terms of illustration example essay, boom, let's click over to that. You can see that I separated out by weeks, right? So we've got week one of what I expect you to do, and then the assignments for week one. Okay, then we move to week two, and you see what I expect you to do, assignments for week two. Now make sure you keep an eye on these assignments in the week, the week focuses, um, because sometimes things will need to be added based on what I see from you. If I see that we're all struggling with a particular issue, guess what? We're going to have, uh, you know, something to read or something to watch. Uh, so make sure that you keep an eye out for any changes that happen there. All right. And now I want to just say really quickly, we have this first assignment that you have to actually submit something, not take a quiz. So what does that look like? Well, here, you know, you can see the title, the deadline, right? Do 113. Okay. And then you see there's an attached file, right? This is a sample, right? A sample topic selection document. Uh, and it shows you what the paper should look like, right? Because you'll submit a document for me. It needs to follow MLA formatting. Uh, so if you notice up here, Read section five, formatting an essay document in our textbook. Well, guess what? That'll show you step by step exactly how to make your paper look like this. All right. And then it gives you information about the assignment. Now, if we click through, okay, you can see again, right? The deadline, January 13th, points possible. There's a rubric attached. If you want to click on that, you can see the rubric. It'll show you how I'll be grading it. Every assignment that we do has a rubric associated with it. So make sure you check that out. All right. Now look at this too here. We've got, you know, so th this is the information again from the last page, but it's a little disclaimer, right? Submitting this paper, you agree that you're submitting it to be used and stored as part of safe assigned services, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Uh, we are using safe assign in this class to make sure that information that you're submitting is information that comes from your own mind, not from, you know, the internet or something like that. So we want to make sure that we uh, actually come down here and we click, I agree to submit my paper to the global reference database. Okay. I will not grade anything that you do not agree to submit to the global reference database. So make sure that you click this button. Okay, that's super, super important. And then you attach your file. Now, this text submission thing up here, you will get points off if you use that because guess what? I can't check your MLA formatting if I just see like a sentence on a screen. It's not going to give me a heading or a header, all those things that are required by MLA formatting, right? So uh, avoid this, right? Don't click write submission. Actually attach a Word document. 
Okay, and we all have access to Word for free, whether it's the online version, right, Office 365, or whether it's the uh, actual downloaded application. Now, I prefer the downloaded application uh, just because it gives you more functionality and, it, I don't know, intuitively it makes more sense to me. You know, but if you want to use the uh, Office 365 version, you can find that in your GTC dashboard uh, where you log in and check your email and all that stuff. Okay, and so all we would do browse my computer, find the file, attach the file. Make sure that you attach the correct file because that is the big thing that people tend to mistake. All right, so we've also got a calendar here. If you click on that, it shows you a calendar of when assignments are due. And then my grades. My grades will show you uh, what grades you received on assignments. It'll also show you if I've given you feedback. Make sure to check this out uh, because any feedback that I give you, I expect you to take into consideration and use for the next assignment. Now, in terms of office hours, I'm here Monday and Wednesday from 10 a.m. to 12 noon. If All you have to do is click on the link. All right, I'm already logged in, uh, so I don't think it'll let me, but what you do is you, you just, it'll pull this page up, you click this link, and then boom, you're in. It's going to ask you for your name, just put your name. All right, don't put Skater Girl 72 because I'm not going to know what that means, who you are. All right. So then, you know, down here we have our class sessions. As of now, class sessions are TBA. I'm going to be sending out a survey to ask you when would be the best time to meet, um, you know, and the best day. So you want to make sure to try to attend these class sessions. It's going to be a great question and answer uh, opportunity, okay? Uh, and it'll also help me kind of uh, get to know you a little bit better and guide you through any, any troubles that you might have. Okay, so I want you to keep those things in mind as you're using Blackboard. Uh, as always, there's this, you know, send email section. Um, I didn't fill anything in the about the instructor because guess what? That introduction, boom, is up here in the week one focus. So watch that intro. Um, watch this how to use your textbook video because that'll help you figure out how to use this down here. Um, and then, you know, take a look at the assignment requirements and read that section in the textbook here. All right, so I think that wraps up everything that we need to, to know regarding our uh, course here on Blackboard. But if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to let me know. All right, so have a great rest of your day. Do great things, and I will see you next time.